God bless you, everyone. My name is Dave. At this moment, I just got home from a powerful church service at the Resurrection Center. Many of you know that I attend this church located in the Indian Orchard area of Springfield, Massachusetts. And I was thinking about something. I'm not sure many people think about this, but there's a good question to ask when we go to church on Sundays. Come to think of it, it's an even better question to ask when we don't go to church on Sundays. I guess the question is for everyone. And that question is, do you love God? Well, do you? If you haven't surrendered yourself to Christ, then perhaps you might not love God. I don't know. Do you tell God to grant you the grace to live in God's glory and to honor every day that the Lord has given you every day? If you do, then how do you do it? Is it a prayer? Do you speak to God? If you don't pray, then how do you know that God is listening to you? How do you know? Maybe he isn't. Isn't it better to speak to the Lord? Let's look at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. All who fear the Lord will hate evil. Therefore, I hate pride and arrogance, corruption, and perverse speech. And that's in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. You see, when you surrender yourself to Christ and you are dedicated, it is a permanent and unconditional act. God gave a clear understanding when he said, anyone who isn't with me opposes me, and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. And we see that in Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. Do you see we are given a choice and taught what is a better choice? The body of Christ must identify with Jesus in every aspect of our lives. Scripture readings, Bible study at church, and sermons that reach the Spirit teach us how. We do this in the way we live. True followers attract others to Jesus for salvation because they are an example of his love. It is a sad fact that very little of the godliness many people reveal during Sunday worship is seen in the way they carry out their lives. Meaning the way they behave inside the church is not the same way that they behave outside the church. People who stray from the body of Christ are lost and are unable to recognize who they were intended to be for God's purpose. You see that? We, we are intended to be something, but most importantly, it's for God's purpose. See, those who stray from God's purpose and his understanding of what life is meant to be fall into traps. What are those traps? Those traps include unethical behavior, dishonesty, personal agendas, drama, and much more. These are the people who lack compassion. They lack understanding, and they're missing out on love. These things have no place in the body of Christ, and they are an action of total denial of Jesus Christ. Your love for God must always be evident in your love for one another, and you should behave like you do in the house of the Lord at your church on Sundays. Remember, as a Christian, you constantly live with and are in the presence of our Father God. Turn away from everything perverse and not of God's will. Honor God the Father, our Lord and Savior, every hour of the day. Everything you should do must be considered unto the Lord with the glory given to God. We thank the Lord for this day. It is God that has made each day for you. What you accomplish is because God made it possible. Let's reflect. Let's take a moment to look at Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12 through 21. I'll read it to you. 
Again, it's Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12 through 21. I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence. I possess knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior, and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight. I have power. By me, kings reign. And rulers issues decrees that are just. By me, princes govern. And nobles, all who rule on earth. I love those who love me and those who seek me find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, bestowing a rich inheritance on those who love me and making their treasures full. And that is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12 through 21. So let me ask the question again. Do you love God? My name is Dave.